Hey everybody, JRS Pizza here with another video uh, and today we are looking at something else I found today when I was taking stuff out of one of my well, one of my box trucks. I have a 26 foot box truck and a 12 foot box truck. Anyways, um, I was unloading it because I'm getting ready to sell it and I found another box of starting lineups and after I found it I realized they came from the same deal as the last box so I thought why not do another video for those people interested in random starting lineup collection purchases so without further ado uh, the reason why I know these are the, from the same collection is because they have the same price tags on them let's start right here Carlos Baerga that's a 1993 he was a great ball player played with the Mets for a little while so there's one and these are like I said they're all part of that last collection 1995 Troy Neal uh, he was a, a touted prospect uh, didn't do much in the majors but he was around for a minute you know he had more than a cup of coffee alrighty Who's that? Ron Francis, 1996. He's a Hall of Famer, Pittsburgh Penguin, starting lineup. Uh, I also this one here looks like it's been in the um, been in the sunlight for a while at one point because it's kind of faded. This is supposed to be a deeper or more bright yellow, and it's almost like a light peachy pasty. <laughs> so you can see it's a little bit more yellow down here and less up there, and the bubble is all yellow. But anyways, okay, and let's see here. Uh, here's a Travis Fryman. He was a good ball player for quite a long time. I mean, he had a solid career, you know. I mean, his family'd be proud. Uh, we were definitely collecting his '91 Upper Deck cards and stuff, and saving them back in the day. Uh, I did find uh, a whole bunch of other boxes from a trip to New York where I bought a bunch of starting lineups. Um, it was one of those deals where I bought several hundred. Um, so those aren't in this deal. I figured I'd, maybe I'll show those another time. This is just part of that random collection that are just thrown in a box and blah, blah, blah. So I'll show you guys that other one another time. All right, here's another hockey. That is Pierre Turgeon. Turgeon. I, th I always forget how to say his name. I don't know if I ever said it right. Turgeon, I think. 1995 capitals piece okay let's see next I got let me see here um hi see coming Lena. oh gosh what what are you doing gosh you're so weird get out of here people don't want to see that sorry about I that guys show them up my nose. sorry guys uh if you saw her brain uh I apologize anyways David Klingler quarterback Young sensation for the Bengals. They had so many young sensations. Uh, I can only think of a couple good Bengals quarterbacks. Uh, like Boomer, Esiason, and let's see, Kenny Anderson. He was a Bengal. And then they didn't really have anybody good until like, I feel like Andrew Dalton came along. Uh, so anyways, there's that. That's pretty cool. You know I love the, the football ones. Alright, very famous woman coming up right now, everybody. The infamous Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, Bruce Jenner piece. Uh, if you remember from my video yesterday, um, I did, uh, and, and I'm, I'm just kidding about the women's stuff. You know what? I support everybody. I don't care what anybody does or blah, blah, blah. As long as they're good people and they're not hurting people or killing people or hurting children, as long as they're a good person, then I support them. So here's Bruce Jenner. Bruce, um... It's a great motivational speaker and uh, just a good uh, American, not because of the Olympics and stuff like that, but I just, I really like Bruce Jenner and I still like him, even if he identifies as a woman and changed his name. Anyways, do you remember yesterday we saw this black thing? Well, I found a bunch more of these in this box and the black stickers on all of them. And if you look close, you can see that there is another piece right there. So um, I'm guessing that they, um, uh, excluded like they made the card and then they made the piece but apparently they decided not to go ahead and add it to the set so that black sticker is on all of these 
Okay, next. Oh, here's another one. Timeless Legends. Number 96 Timeless Legends. Jim Thorpe. Uh, so, he was a, known to be an alcoholic and he died a very poor, lonely man. Which is pretty sad because he was extremely talented um, Olympian. Here's another sticker. You'll see they must have been all manually placed because it's in a slightly different spot than the other one. I can see a little bit more of the foot or the base on this one than you can on this one. Anyways, Jim Thorpe, cool piece, jumping a hurdle. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, make it go away, make it go away! Woo! Sorry about that, guys. I have no idea where that came from. Okay, moving right along. 1996, Charles Johnson. He had a he had a he had a decent lengthy career. I mean, he wasn't like a 20 year player, but uh, he was around for a while and he did pretty good. You know, he was he was all right. All right, looks like I have two of these. Uh, Ichiro Bobbleheads, 2001 edition. You know, I well, no, I won't probably. I may, I don't know. No, probably not. So these are 2001 cards, like rookie cards, technically. Uh, this one's got a little touch corner wear on top right. This one is, uh, it's, it's maybe near mint to mint at best. So I probably won't rip those open and get them graded. But that'd be cool. Something odd that probably doesn't have a very high pop report. So two of those came in that collection. Let's see, what else? Well, let's move right along with these timeless legends. Flojo. I believe she passed away. Um, she passed away quite a while ago, I'm pretty sure. Florence Griffin Joyner. Uh, she was uh, sister-in-laws with Jackie Joyner Kersey, another great female Olympian. I think Flojo had a heart attack and just dropped dead, basically. There's that sticker again. So that's sad. Oh, let's see, I got another one down here. Dig it out. And it is none other than the 98 Timeless Legends, Bonnie Blair. Uh, speed skater. Good signer through the mail, too, if you if you mail an autograph request to her. This would be cool to get signed, except it's roached. It's kind of beat up, but I don't care. You know, I might bust the card out and send it to her to get signed. So, pretty cool. Okay, next. Oh, nice one. This one might be a rookie piece. Let's find out. Orioles. Nope, not a rookie piece. See how much smaller the checklist got, guys, like I told you? Uh, from 98. 99. I'm sorry, from the 88. I believe 89 was the largest collection that they ever made. 89 or 90. And then it got smaller. That's why if you look on the backs of them, you'll see... Uh, looks like there's nobody on... This entire set that it's a rookie piece. It looks like they're all the second, um, at least the second year because there's, oh no, wait, right here. There are some. So, Star, uh, Eric Karos, that's his first piece. I think, hold on a second. Let me look at this stupid thing. No, that's not right. That's registered trademark. Uh, anyways, um, usually there's a star by them on the other ones if, it, if it's the first year that they've been on it. But you see how small that set is? There's literally, the exception of the Braves, I think, uh, the Rangers, White Sox, there's only two or less of each player from each team. There's only one Red Sox. Anyways, Mike Messina might be a rookie. I don't know. It might not be. Maybe they changed that whole thing they were doing with the star on the back. All right, here's another Dan O'Brien. This one's kind of roached and... Partially open, but whatever. I don't care. I still think they're cool, you know, and the price I paid for them. This is all still part of that $20 deal. So I think I gave the guy 20 bucks and a box of 1990 score baseball. Okay, and another Jim Thorpe. So a couple Jim Thorpes in there. Dan O'Brien's got that sticker. I'm going to have to take the sticker off one of these things and see. I'll probably take it off this one right here. Uh, at the end of the video, and I'll show you guys who the heck was on the back. And another Carlos Baerga. Okay. Saw that one already, so put him over there. Oh, this is pretty neat. Remember these? The Shack Attacks. These came out, uh, I believe, in 92, or probably 90, 93, I'm going to say, around something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, 93 right there. 
not sure if you can see. They had a, a bunch of different versions of this, and um, they're pretty cool here. They have them breaking the backboard, and there's a street jam, you know, reverse jam like the street style. Rookie of the Year figure, King of the Paint, Overhead Smash, Jamming Giant, uh, Downtown Shootout, that's cool. But anyways, this one's All-Star Shack, so that's pretty cool. There's got to be something in here to hold him up, I'm guessing probably underneath this, so he looks like that. But, you know, not worth a ton, but I'll totally take it out of this, out of the package and display it. It's kind of ripped open a little bit, so it's pretty cool. Anyways, moving right along. Stick him over here. Ah, oh, here's a beast. This guy was going to be the next Pedro Martinez. Juan Guzman. Remember him? 1992 Leaf. Everybody chasing him. That card, I remember chasing that 92 Leaf. Look at this guy smile. That's a smile only a mama can smile back at. <laughs> uh, he was alright. He had a good fastball. Uh, but he just never, never, I mean, he was pretty dominant for the first couple years, but he phased out really fast, so. Alrighty, ooh, Manito Santiago, extended series, him with the Marlins. They must have made this series, uh, when the Marlins came into existence, because this is a 93 also. So, let's see, they don't have the Marlins on here. On the checklist so this is the extended series must be one of the first marlin pieces ever i'm guessing right after the team uh made its inaugural debut pretty cool but ain't santiago he was, a, he was around for a long time he's kind of a journeyman a little bit he had long stints though with uh, the padres uh i think he was with the marlins for a minute who else um the padres longest but he was pretty good all right nadia kamenechi she was cool she signed for me through the mail. She married Bart Connors, the other Olympian gymnast. Oh, no, no, that wasn't her. It was, uh, yeah, no, it was Nadia. Yeah, she married Bart Connors. Young Russian girl, I, I think, if I remember correctly. So, it looks like there she is right there on the back. I don't know. I think that's her. Yeah, that's Nadia. I don't know who this is. We may find out because she may be in this box. Alrighty. Carrie Collins, headliner. I used to buy all these things back in the day. I'd go to KB Toy Store with my paycheck. I'd cash my paycheck. I'd work full-time hours when I was still in high school. And I'd make about, I'd bring home about 180 bucks, something like that. And uh, I'd go and spend all my money on these and starting lineups. I'd pay $4 a piece for those things. But surprisingly, I graduated and everything. And like I said, literally I was working full-time when I was in high school. Carlos Baerga, again. That's the third one of those, I believe. Okay, what's something new? Eric Carroll, he was good. He had a nice long career. Rookie of the Year in, uh, I believe it was 92. I think he was Rookie of the Year in 92. Uh, but anyways, he's a great ball player. Great, great hitting first baseman. Uh, he was uh, in Cooperstown when I went, when Piazza got inducted. He was playing golf with Piazza. Everybody was trying to get Piazza's autograph. Uh, and Mike's like, uh, does anybody want Eric Karros' autograph? Eric Karros, everybody. Piazza was really cool. Uh, but nobody asked Karros for an autograph. But, uh, I would have taken one if he would have come over to sign. But I did get Piazza that day, so that was pretty cool. Alright, Dante Bichette. Bo Bichette's da uh, big daddy. Pretty cool, 1995 piece. Show Rockies. Would have been cool to live out here in Utah back when, uh, Back when they had Helton and um, who else? Uh, Larry Walker, Andres Galarraga. That would've been cool. And another B shot. <laughs> I just I'm just reaching in the box next to me and grabbing them out. Uh, so they're in no particular order. Another B shot. Dante B shot. Okay, here is a different um, speed skater, Dan Jansen. That's pretty neat. I've never seen this one before. So we got a Bonnie Blair and a Dan Jansen. Oh, this is different. This is 98. Oh, pretty cool, Dan Jansen. Oh, man. The man famous for Bobby Bonilla Day, July 1st. 
when he gets his million dollars from the Mets because of his brilliant contract. Uh, that was a big piece back then, and, and he was a Met twice, and he never was ever a very good Met. Look at that face. Like, they did a pretty good job on his face for this one. It does kind of look like him. Looks a little bit like between him and Eddie Murray. <laughs> Anyways, that's cool. Uh, I like it because it's a Met. But he was, uh, he was never really good. He was never clutch for the Mets. He struck out a ton. They spent a ton of money on another Eric Carroll's. So I was never, I never liked the guy. I always, I kind of, that's always hated him actually. Dan Wilkinson, look at that big boy. That's pretty cool. A lot of bangles in here. This collection had a lot of bangles in it. All right, it looks like one more. Then I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna take that sticker off. That's a decent one, guys. That's a decent one. That's an '89 Jim Everett. '89. Look at the size of that checklist. Huge. And here's the stars I was talking about. Like that's that's how you would tell if it if this guy if it was his rookie piece or not, his first piece. So that's cool. An '89 Jim Everett. That's nice. Don't call him Chris Everett, or he'll get into a fight with you, even if he's being interviewed by you. So cool piece. Nice Jim Everett. I think I just sent one of his rookies to PSA in my last order. Alrighty. Oh, what else is in this box? Oh, a couple bonuses. <laughs> a couple bonuses. <laughs> we got a Monster Jams monster truck. It's called Monster Mutt. I love monster trucks. I don't know why. I didn't even know this was in here. Ooh, and a Transformer. Looks like a, maybe a McDonald's one? I don't know. Yeah, uh, 2012. Pretty cool. I don't know if it actually transforms or not. Well, maybe kind of, sort of. Oh, yeah, it transformed into a, a artillery vehicle. <laughs> All right, let me pause this. I'm gonna rip that sticker off and see what the heck is hiding underneath that. Hold on. All right, I tried, guys, every way possible, and they did not want us to know because that thing was stuck. I might try another one using a blow dryer or something, a heat gun maybe. See if I can't get another one to come off, but that sucker was glued to the paper. <laughs> so, let's count these up. All right, in this group there was 31 figures. So 31 to go along with, uh, I think, 40 whatever in the last video. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, check out my other one if you haven't already and ch please check out the future ones. Please uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and please um, you know, hit that bell so you can see when I get some other videos coming on. Alrighty, I got a whole bunch of stuff to open up. I just brought a whole box full of blaster boxes. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of 2017 football searching for Patrick Mahomes. Anyways, you guys have a good day and be the best version of you that you can be. Later.